Welcome back, students. Today, we are going to learn our lesson in writing. Please prepare your reader's and writer's notebook, English copybook, and your pen. Our objectives for today. A. Define personal narrative. And B. Discuss the key features of a personal narrative. But before our lesson for today, let us first go back to the lesson last week. What is parody? Parody is a work created to mock, comment on, or poke fun at an original work its subject or author, or some other target. Lewis and Clark and Not Me is a parody of the story Lewis, Clark, and Me. For our lesson today, kindly open your Readers and Writers Notebook on page 430. Today, we are going to learn about personal narrative. A personal narrative is when you write about an event or experience that has personally happened to you. It has a beginning, middle, and an ending. It is written in first person using pronouns me, my, I, we, or myself. Let us now discuss the key features of a personal narrative. First key feature tells a real story about a personal experience. A personal narrative is relating to our personal experience which is usually told in first person. Personal refers to a story from one's life or experiences. Second key feature includes details that help readers understand the experience. This is done by including clear imagery and lots of sensory details. We all want our reader to experience the event that we are writing in our personal narrative. Uses first person, point of view, is our third key feature. It's using the pronouns I and me. When we write in the first person, since it's our story, we use I to start our sentences. And for the last key feature, reveals author's voice through thoughts and feelings. Let us include dialogue, which can help us to engage the reader and add realism to our personal narrative. Let us read the sample personal narrative on the next slide. A surprise for mom. My mom works really hard at the job she loves. She's a chef and her food is delicious. On her days off, she cooks me fancy pizzas or anything else I want. A couple of months ago, a thought hit me. My mom needs someone to cook for her. That's when I hatch my plan. My mom's best friend Trish is also a chef. So I ask her to teach me how to cook a special dinner for Mother's Day. You should know that I was clueless in the kitchen. Trish had to start from the beginning. 
First, we planned the menu. Then I worked on techniques like reading recipes, measuring ingredients, and cutting vegetables safely. When I moved on to actually cooking, I had trouble with everything. I made mistakes like flipping food out of the pan and burning sauces. However, Trish was really patient with me, and slowly I mastered each dish. When Mother's Day arrived, I got busy as soon as Mom left for work. She always makes a huge brunch at a restaurant and comes home exhausted. This time, however, when Mom got home, the house smelled great. I had her favorite CD playing and the table set. The first part of our meal, salad, was ready to serve. Mom was astonished. She ate every bit of food. I was so happy. My hard work had made me more than a successful cook. It had made me a son who could finally give goodness back to his mom. Question number one. What thoughts about his mother does the author share with the reader in paragraphs one and two? Question number two. What details in paragraph 5 help you feel like you are a part of this experience? Underline sentences that appeal to your sense. Please pause this video and answer the questions. It's time to check your answers. First question, what thoughts about his mother does the author share with the reader in paragraphs 1 and 2? Answer, in paragraph 1, he thinks his mom works really hard. In paragraph 2, he thinks his mom needs someone to cook for her. For the second question, what details in paragraph 5 help you feel like you are a part of this experience? Underline sentences that appeal to your senses. Kindly underline these lines. The house smelled great. I had her favorite CD playing and the table set. Salad was ready to serve. These words or these sentences are appealing to our senses. That's all for now, students. Always be safe and see you all again next time. Have a great day!